what's up scrappy peeps i'm so excited today i have a bit of a diy kind of scrappy project for you um so spotlight have absolutely spoiled me and sent me basically the entire i think it's the entire range of the color reveal from crepe paper um, which is a watercolor print collection i guess you could say where you add watercolor to some prints and canvases and you create them you, you create your own gallery wall really um or you can just buy individual pieces and just have them up wherever you like so i'm going to show you today all the goodies that they sent and i'm also going to do some of them for you to show you some different techniques as well so stay tuned up next i'm going to have a clip of all of the goodies that i've got and because there's a few different ranges there's some that are just like on watercolor paper like this there's quite a few that are on like a cardstock canvas type thing it feels like a box but it's not a box it's it's a canvas but it's made out of cardstock instead of canvas material and then there's some that are on wooden planky things <laughs> I guess that's the best way to describe them so some of them have gold foil others just have a resist so we're going to experiment and see what we can do for little baby Toomey's room yay all right let's crack open these watercolors oh so pretty and I've seen this is not a good safe way to open up your watercolors but do what I say, not what I do. <laughs> oh, there we go. Um, I've seen quite a few people on YouTube using this range of watercolors, particularly a couple of people in America. Ah, just destroy it. Are you a person who opens like presents and packages very carefully or are you a ripper? I'm usually careful. I'm careful with paper, but not with plastic for some reason. Look at that. That's just too nice. It just looks like it's good enough to eat. All right, which way does it open? This way. Yeah. So you've got, whoops, you've got a lot of colors, a lot, a lot. And it also gives you two paintbrushes. Now, I'm going to be honest, I probably won't use these paintbrushes. I probably will use my own only because I have some that are a bit bigger and I picked up these at Spotlight as well. I'm not sure what brand they are. Royal Crafters Choice. So I have this which is a size 10 and it's a round one. I've also got this big daddy which is so well used that it's rubbed off but it's from that same pack. Um, and then I may also use even the bigger one which is a Dina Wakely um, paintbrush just because for the effects that I want I want a, I think it'll be easier to achieve with a bigger paintbrush but these these would work perfectly fine as well so now to decide what to do Ooh. okay we found out today that we're having a little baby boy um, the reveal video should be up by the time I haven't filmed the reveal video yet but it should be up by the time this is up for sure um, so I think I'm going to stick to not this color. You know me very well and you know that I'm not, I, I am having a boy, but he's not wearing lime green. <laughs> so I think I'm going to stick to kind of the darker greens, black, gray, turquoise, blues, and maybe a bit of purple. I think that's my, my color scheme. All right, let's get started. So I have sprayed my palette with some water I feel like that's easier for the colors to start moving around a little bit because beforehand they were I was having a bit of trouble getting them to move but I think you just need to add the water and let it soak for a couple of minutes and then it's good to go so this one is really cute magic is something you make so it's just got gold foil and it is one of the canvassy type cardstock boxes I'm thinking the dark blues and a little bit of black and then a spattering of Heidi Shine what do you think I, I think that would look quite nice so 
There's a couple of ways to do this. You can either just put the watercolour straight on. I'm going to give it a go by putting a little bit of water, not too much, just a little bit of water down first. So I'm going to grab my paintbrush and just put a tiny bit of water, just a little bit, over the top. I think that might help. So I'm going to go, I think I'll start with this one. Get a bit of colour on my brush and just start, oh, this is so cool. Just start dabbing it on there. So I'm thinking lighter at the top here and then going down to darker down the bottom. So this blue is like a really nice bright, bright, bright blue. What about if we put in some of this one? Is it very different? Let's see. Oh yeah, it's a bit darker. A bit darker, this one. And then I think I'll add some of the black down here. It kind of looks like grey, which I like, because it's mixing with the blue. Oh, I love that. Oh, so cool. I want to put a little bit more of the blue up here. Just to make sure it really goes around. Now, one recommendation, definitely do this on a flat surface. <laughs> definitely. Because otherwise you'll end up with paint running everywhere. But I am going to try a bit of a paint running one later. So stay tuned for that. But I really like that. I kind of don't want to go too much more black, she says as she dips her paintbrush back into the black. <laughs> All right, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to add some splatters. I might grab one of the little brushes that it came with. Where is that? Little brushes, where are you? I've lost them. Hang on, I have to find them. They're here somewhere. Right, I found a little paintbrush. I'm going to get it wet and get a little, oh see that's dried up now, that not dried up but so I've used all of the water. So I think it's it's handy to have a just a spray bottle that you can get from anywhere really um, of water just close by as well. So I'm going to grab a little bit of the blue on a smaller brush, kind of do some some splatters and I love because this is still wet the splatters are just kind of spreading. Oh, I like that so much. All right, don't over splat Adele, don't do it. So the best way would be to let this air dry, but I'm impatient and I want to finish it. So I'm going to just use my, um, my heat gun. You can use a hairdryer, you can use the sunshine, you can use air, anything that will works to dry it. But I would recommend if you can, let it dry naturally because the colour will, it'll be brighter, it'll be more saturated if you just let it dry. So I'm going to pause it, dry it, and then show you what I'm going to do next. It's all dry. Quick tip, I had some blue splatters on the actual gold words and because it is resist, it comes straight off. So I just wet a cotton bud and just wiped it off and it was good as new. So let me give you a bit of a close up. Isn't that just pretty? Oh, I love it. Okay, so now just needs a little Heidi Shine. So this is Heidi Swap Color Shine, which you can buy from Spotlight as well. I live by this stuff. You know me. If you watch my channel a lot, you know that I can't live without it. So I'm going to try two things. I'm going to try and just do a bit of a squirt down here. And then, oh, I don't really like that. There we go. Problem solved. <laughs> Alright, I'm actually just going to splatter because I didn't like the way that the nozzle it was coming out of the nozzle. I think my nozzle's a bit blocked. So I'm just going to do a little bit of splatter down here and a little bit up here. Just to make it even more magical. Reminds me of something that like Hagrid would say to Harry Potter. 
Harry, magic is something you make. <laughs> that was the worst impersonation ever. Okay, I'm going to leave this one to dry somewhere and then I'll show you them all at the end after they've dried. Let's get the next one. Okay, so for this one I want to do something different. It's a bit hard to see, but it says in Resist it's got when you stop and look around, this life is pretty amazing. So, so for this one I want to do something a little bit different. It's got a quote, when you stop and look around, this life is pretty amazing, which is all in Resist. And so I think I want to do a bit of an ombre stripe. I'm thinking. So I'm going to show you how it changes when you um, use, when you don't put water down to start off with. So this is just a piece of watercolour paper. Let me zoom you in. So this one would be really cute in a little frame or you could do it in, um, oh this paints so much better now. Um, you could do it in a little frame or you could do it just washi tape it onto the wall or you could use a little hanger there we go it's completely up to you so I'm going to start with purple and just do one big brush stroke oh look at that how cool is that the the H just like popped out now do you do you wipe it off oh look at that it's like magic so if I just tap this with the paper towel, it kind of moves off the letter. That is magical. That's, I didn't expect that. <laughs> All right, so now let's go, I think maybe this blue's darker. It's a bit of an experiment. I'm just gonna do one big stroke. That's, I just, I think that's just so fun to watch. I could do this all day. They're slowly appearing. There we go. Yay! All right, next up. I'm going to have to change my water soon. Oh, I didn't want that blue. I might do the one next to it, this one. Okay, definitely wet your paint palette before using it. So much better. When you stop and ook, when you stop and look around. Come on, Elle. Pop it, what are you doing? The bunnies, the bunnies know when I'm recording and they like to cause a bit of a kerfuffle. So don't be surprised if I have to pause <laughs> to stop chewing bunnies. They're just, I think they're just getting me ready for when little baby Toomey's here. Then we're going to go into some mint. I'm going to skip the really light blue because I think it's too similar to that on this. Like it won't stand out as much. And if any of these colours are too light for you, you could just let this dry and then do another coat. Oh, I love this. All right. So now we'll move on to maybe this one. Or is it very similar? I oh, know, it's a bit, it's a little bit darker. There we go. Make sure I see that eye. And then go on to a bit of a darker aqua. Oh, that is so pretty. I just did the word pretty. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> but it is really pretty. Should I do amazing? Hmm, that's the question. Should I do amazing? I don't know. I think I might leave amazing. I think I might leave that as is. I am, however, going to do a little bit of splattering, just a little bit. So I'm gonna grab that little paintbrush again and start with the aqua. Just do a tiny bit down here and then a tiny bit of blue, like the teeniest, tiniest bit. And then a tiny smidge of purple. 
there we go. All right, I'm gonna leave this one to dry naturally. So pop you in a special spot. Next up, I'm going to do this one, which says, let your, la your heart sing. And it's on the wooden little planky bits. And I'm actually going to copy what they had on the back of the packet because I just, I think that's beautiful with the dark gray. It kind of looks stormy with the, the polka dots in the background. So I'm going to go for blacks and grays with this one, just for something different. And I am going to wet it beforehand, but not too much, just a little bit. Just a little bit. I just think that the watercolour works a bit better on wet. Okay. Now I'm going to start with the black. Wet that up. And just start adding it. So remember you can do multiple coats because this is coming out quite light down the bottom. You can do multiple coats. Alright, a little bit more. And the more water that you add to your colour the um, less saturated it will be. So I'm actually going to stop there, wipe these letters down just with paper towel. I should get a new paper towel. Oh that's a nice effect in the background there. You can wipe them down afterwards. I'm just being impatient. There we go. I'm going to dry this and then do another coat on top. Coat number two. So I'm grabbing my paintbrush again and just putting a little bit of water, especially up the top here. Not too much. Just a little bit. Okay. So more of that black. There we go. Gosh, I did go through that black quickly. <laughs> Whoops, it's blurred it out. Oh, that's nice. Okay, that's easier to see now. I'm also going to add a little bit of blue. I wasn't going to, but I think I'm going to now. kind of want that softer finish down here. Just blending it out a little bit. Oh, that's better. So my tip is if you're doing one of these resist ones, choose darker colors because lighter colors won't show. And also with watercolour, it's better to do multiple thinner, not as wet layers than one big giant layer. So I'm going to dry it and we'll come back. So cute. All right, so now I just need to add a little something to this one, especially down just these little bits that are empty. I have this heart stencil, which I have no idea where I got it from, and some Heidi Swap metallic texture paste. And I'm just going to add a little extra detail by adding some gold textured hearts. Because you all know that I can't, I can't do anything simply, can I? <laughs> I'm just kind of making sure that I get the whole, try and get the whole heart. So, of course, you don't have to do this. I'm just adding a little extra something. Oh, I like it. Um, alrighty. I 
think I need a couple here, not too many, just a few. Oop. And the great thing about these is that they're totally customizable. So, is that a word? Customizable? Am I making words up? Could be. <laughs> They're, they can be whatever colour you want, you can add things to them, you can do whatever you like, it's all yours. And maybe just, just a few up here, just those four. There we go. Just going to grab a cotton bud, because I did splurt some extra on here. Okay, can't really tell. I can tell, but <laughs> man riding by on a horse wouldn't be able to tell. I'm going to add a tiny bit more Heidi Shine in tinsel this time, which is like a silver grey colour. And I've learned from experience, close the paint palette <laughs> before you missed. I don't know if even I maybe want to actually spray, like spray spray. We'll see. This, I don't know why, but this one's very, I think it's an older one of mine and it doesn't splatter as nicely. Like it does splatter, but you have to really work it. Not like the gold. <laughs> A little bit here. I think that's cute. All right, that one's going to dry. We're on to the next one. This one's a little bit different. Well, it's not really different. It's bigger. And the design has these resist patches, but these bits are not. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to color each of these, not each of them, but color a lot of them in different colors and then I don't know if maybe I want to do like a bit of a halo effect around the outside we'll see how I go I'll do the inside first and for that I'm just going to go straight on this so I'm not going to put water on first but I am going to wet these a little bit just to get them going again going to start with this nice aqua color and I'm just going to fill this in this is going to be a nice little nice soft one and I probably will do two coats of the colors and over here and the good thing is you don't have to be too careful with these side bits because if there's resist there it will resist it. So I think I might do three of each colour. I'll try to anyway. There's those three. And I'll do another coat after. I think I'm going to do this light blue. And do maybe this one. And this one. And then one more. Oh, I've gone into that one, so that one will have to have some colour too. Maybe this skinny little one up here. Or maybe this one. We'll go with this one. So remember this is coat one, and then I will go back and do another coat because it's quite light. Then I think I'm going to actually go for this aquary colour. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a emerald aqua, I guess you could say. Oh, got a bit in there. That's all right. I'm sure baby Toomey's not going to worry. <laughs> so the great thing about these is that they're not, so I'm doing these for a little boy, but they're not gender specific. Not that I really think that things should be like, a boy can like flowers, that's perfectly fine with me. 
Um, but it's nice that you can just, you can do whatever you like. Oh, I haven't cleaned my paintbrush properly, have I? It's just going to do a little bit of the grey down here, but it's not really working for me. So I think I might cover that up. Hmm. I'm going to dry that and then I'm going to do the second coat off camera just because you it's pretty basic to know what to do and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Cute! Alright so now I think I'm going to do a spray Heidi Shine and have like a aura coming from behind the heart. So shaking it real well. Shake 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 your Heidi Shine shake your Heidi Shine. Alright I think I've shaken it well. And I'm just using a scrap piece of paper that I roughly cut to that. And I'm just going to use a baby wipe to just, just wipe my nozzle down a little bit. Okay, we'll see how that works. Let's try on here first. Alright, let's see how we go. Okay. Oh, that's nice. All right. And then I'm going to flip it. And it doesn't matter if some of it gets on the heart. That's okay. And then very carefully, I'm just going to fix up that little bit down there. And then I think I'm just going to kind of wing it. And just kind of spray and go for it. Go gold crazy. Oh goodness, I love it. Now what you can do, if there's bits that you've kind of missed, you can just kind of grab some of the mist and pat it on right close to the heart and it looks like you haven't missed it. Haha, <laughs> get it? Missed it? <laughs> that was bad Adele, that was bad. Bad joke. Now you can see here I've got a big bit on there so I'm going to take that off and I've got a solution for that and then this one has hardy shine all over it. And a bunny hair. Alright. I like that. I like it a lot. I am going to sop up a little bit down here. There we go. And I am going to take off a little bit of the wetness so that it dries quicker. Cute. Alright. I feel like I'd like something there. Bear with me and I'll be back. I found this little bee darling which is from a past Dear Lizzie collection that I grabbed at Spotty and I'm going to use that to cover up that little bit but because it's white it's not really popping out so I'm going to colour it with black texture and then maybe raise it up on a bit of foam adhesive as well. So I'm going to do that off camera and then you'll have to wait to see this one at the very end. And the wall is done! I freaking love it. Now we haven't painted Baby Toomey's little room yet so I've set this up in the lounge room which is where it'll stay for a little while but I just absolutely love this so much. Now you could add to this and add photos in frames, you could do whatever you like. So let me show you what we've got. So you saw me do this one with the modeling paste like so. There we go. And it just looks like a beautiful thunderstorm of clouds just coming over. I absolutely love that one. Down here we did this one on screen as well and I actually added some glossy accents to the Bee Darling so it's really nice and shiny. So there's that one. Then down here we've got 
the magic is something you make which is another sweet little one with lots of gold sparkles on that one then if we move we'll go down here this one was really simple all I did was half half it's a bit hard to get the gold on camera but I did half purples half blues and kind of blended them together and I just use a black felt tip pen to write a bit of a quote on there just to make it a little bit personal a little bit special this is one of my favorites so for this one I went a bit scrappy I got my scrappy supplies out and I did so those gold stars are from a thickers pack and then I just had a whole lot of miscellaneous stars just floating around on my desk so I used those and I just love that one. So with this one, all I did is I added the color to the top and then I sprayed water, which I've done on layouts before. And I just let it drip down to the bottom. And I, I just, oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. This one was really fun, but it was tricky because it's so big. It was a little bit difficult to fit on my desk and I'm glad I didn't do it on camera because I, in the end I was just kind of sitting in my chair with it on my lap because it was a little bit big but it really is the feature of this and I just added some some little gold hearts here and there just to give it a little bit of extra something then up the top here we have the little frame and I've just put a little photo of me holding my belly in there this one's another favorite so I just added a whole bunch of fake flowers down in the corner and then a quote around the outside there'll be photos of these at the end too if you want to have an up close look I love the way that the purple and the blue are mixed in this one it's just it's just so dreamy it really is beautiful and that's another favorite I think I'm going to have to repeat that technique on a scrapbook page because it's really I find it quite effective and then this one I just did a really basic um, turquoise wash in the background with some gold hardy shine and then hot glue gunned a heap of fake flowers that I just had rolling around in my stash so there it is let's go back back it up back it up back it up back it up and then we'll focus it so there you go. So let me know in the comments down below if you um, have tried any of the Color Reveal range. I absolutely love it and I can't recommend it enough. My three tips, if you're going to try this, my three big tips. The first one is to wet your watercolor palette with water, with some spray water before you start using it. Second tip is have some cheap cotton buds handy so that you can wipe your paint off the reveal uh, off the resist spots and my third tip is try I found this out with this one actually this one here try and get off any big watery droplets that you can on the resist before you dry it because if you rub too hard you actually can rub the gold off which I did there so they're my three tips I absolutely love how this has worked out and I can't wait to put it in little baby Toomey's room. So thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you all on Saturday with a Scrap Stash Saturday layout video. Bye!